Ladies and gentlemen, horses are on the track and prettying to the post. This evening's first race, first half of the Daily Double. Pacing stallions and gildings, racing one mile, field of nine, the one big sky country. Owned and trained by David Cooper, Jeff Fout drives. The two Sexton, leased by Jerry Prittleball and Earl Sancho of Ohio, Mike Levenier trains for Mark Klotz. Number three, Manhattan Breeze, owned by Karen Wiegett and Buddy Conley of Ohio. Brian Weaver trains, Dave Hawk drives. The four, Andy Nukes, owned and trained by Roy Murphy of Solana for Donovan Jr. The five, Governor Sammy, owned by Dorothy Hamilton of Wilmington. Larry Chinch trains and drives. The six, Little Neil, owned by Neil Long of Ohio and Alvy Long of Washington Courthouse. Alvy Long trains for Jack Daly. Number seven is Jackson Creek, owned by Ron Collier of New Court Isle. Dan Eater trains. Ryan Holton getting the call. The eight, Rock Roland Rumble, owned by Myron Brown and David Arcanum of Ar Rumble of Arcanum, Ohio. Myron Brown, the uh, trainer for Dill Miller. And the nine, Payne Road Scooter, owned by Mary Dillon of Marysville, Ohio. The, the trainer's change, trainer's change is to Don Feaster. Mr. Feaster, also the driver this evening. One play show perfecta, trifecta, and a daily double wagering. The first race post time in eight minutes. First race, pacing stallions and gildings all in behind the gate. They make the turn to the back stretch. There they go. And uh, they're off, and from the inside, it's Sexton, the first to leave from the center of the track, Governor Semi. Far outside of three comes Jackson Creek to the inside and fourth. It's Manhattan Breeze. Off the pylons five, Big Sky Country. It's a gap of three lengths, sixth and Denukes. At the rail in seventh, Rock Roland Rumble to the inside eighth, Little Neil. The trailer ninth is Payne Road Scooter around the first turn. And on the front here, Governor Sammy calling the shots. But on the outside quickly comes Jackson Creek, the opening panel in 28 and four. Coming through the stretch, and everybody settles in nicely here. They're in straight alignment with Jackson Creek now, calling the shots. He leads by two. Governor Sammy on the inside is second, followed by Sexton third. Inside and fourth, Manhattan Breeze. Five of the inside, Big Sky Country. Still three lengths, sixth to Andy Nukes, and underway seventh now. Here comes Little Neil. At the rolling eighth, Rock Roll and Rumble, and Payne Road Scooter lagging behind a bit here. He is trailing ninth as they approach the half, 58 and a three. To the back side, and on the front, it's Holton with the seven. Jackson Creek up by two. Governor Sammy waiting patiently on the inside. Here comes Manhattan Breeze as Hawk pulls the pocket. Coming to the outside, he's now third. At the middle and fourth, Sexton. Big Sky Country has his cover. Is drafting along here fifth. On the outside and pacing a sixth, it's Little Neil. Fields slowly coming together here as they race into that final turn. And on the front, Jackson Creek has handed his way. Heavily favored here. Leads by two. Three quarters in 128 and four and that's Jackson Creek but Governor Sammy is right at his heels he's well rested and poised to strike Big Sky Country is moving three wide Little Neil has been sent four wide as they turn for home now less than an eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch and it's Jackson Creek here comes Governor Sammy and Governor Sammy showing some pace here out of the far outside Big Sky Country but Governor Sammy will win the battle here tonight Governor Sammy by a length Jackson Creek was second tight for show. Trackside in the winner's circle, winner of the first, the five, Governor Sammy, four-year-old Ohio bred son of Noble and Sam from the Governor Skipper Mayor, Jean Ann Skipper. Oh, by Dorothy Hamilton of Wilmington, Larry Tinch, the trainer driver, Governor Sammy using the garden spot trip tonight to launch his winning attack here, his first career win, earning a mark of 159 two fifths.